Hello, I'm Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today, I am super excited to present you a unbelievable 1964 Chevrolet Impala 409, four and a quarter horse, dual quad V8, four speed with 411 gears, convertible. today as people are fully aware now because it's become such a big problem are faked uh, so when you get into cars like Corvettes or cars, cars like Chevelles or Camaros or Impalas or a lot of different Mopars I always refer to the experts to help me in this business um, because again these cars are uh, fake they're not what they're being represented as this uh, Impala here these 409 cars these are one of the most fake cars uh, known to exist. So you have to be extremely careful when you're purchasing these. So this is one car that you can be rest assured is authentic and it is the real deal. The car retains its original VIN tag, its original trim tag, um, its original motor, uh, the original rear end. Uh, it sports this unbelievable color combination. Uh, so this is ultimate, uh, the holy grail of the Impala, something that I'm super excited to present. Um, what I'm going to do is I have this description which I include with all my vehicles. These videos that we do at MS Classic Cars, these are not rehearsed videos. I don't sit here and take over uh, videos you know, 10, 15, 20 times. I kind of just go off the cuff. Because this car is so special, I want to make sure I cover all the bullet points in this video today with you. Uh, so we're going to start by saying once again this vehicle was documented by Vern uh, of JV Engineering. Um, he, as I'm quoting from him in his report, he would rate the correctness and condition of this car as a 9 plus and rate it as one of the top five restored and authentic cars I've ever documented. That is a huge deal. Uh, Vern has a ton of experience. He has thousands of photos within his database. Uh, he's done judging. He's in the process of writing a book on Impalas uh, from 58 to 1964. So once again, I have a picture of Vern and I standing next to this car. There's a bio of him included within our description, and there's also his report, which is included with the vehicle. Um, next thing is talking about the owner. As I mentioned, uh, the owner bought this car in 1965. There's a whole story. Uh, that he wrote in a letter of how he acquired this car and all the things he did with this car and its whole history. That letter has been notarized and it is listed within our description and it's also included with the sale of the car as well. Um, I actually have the title from 1969 that was reassigned to MS Classic Cars. Um, so I will then reassign it to the next owner because I'm not a, a titled owner because I'm a dealer. Um, the next buyer of this vehicle will be the third owner. That is so cool. Again, the original title, the letter from the gentleman who bought it um, that's notarized and Burns report are all included. Um, this car is one of only 1,997 uh, 64 Impalas produced with this engine. 
Keep in mind, this engine, again, is very, very rare. Think about how many of those cars were sedans, how many were convertibles. It really uh, narrows that list down. When you start to think about the fact that this car is black with a white convertible top with this black interior, um, and it has a four speed, again, with the 411 gears, uh, I would expect this car is the only one known to exist that is like this. Again, this is a super rare car. Think about back in 1964, how much 425 horsepower was. That was a ton of horsepower. It wasn't even until 1970 when the Chevelle came out with the LS6 with 450 horsepower. So this car was really ahead of its time as far as performance was concerned. And to have it in such an awesome car like this just made it really, really special. I will also make a note, which I'll get into in a, a few minutes when I get into the engine compartment, that when MS Classic Cars pulled the engine out of this car, just to give it a, a quick refresh, we actually sent it to Nats, uh, which is a really known uh, engine builder in Seekonk. He actually dynoed uh, the motor for us with the two original uh, carburetors and the, the motor dynoed at 432 horsepower, which again, I have documentation to support. Uh, so getting into uh, the next thing here uh, with this particular car is um, it was restored by a well-known company by the name of Show Cars Automotive. Uh, Show Cars um, is where Bob sent the car to back in the early 90s to perf uh, do the restoration, on, number one, because they were extremely uh, educated with Impalas, and number two, because they did unbelievable restoration work, especially with black cars. Black cars, it's really hard to paint a black car, especially a big body car like this, making sure it's laser straight and of course laying down the black paint. Um, so that's where Bob went to. Uh, very recently, uh, 2020, Show Car Automotive actually won the Riddler Award, which is the most prestigious award that you can win. Uh, they won it with a Chevy wagon. Um, it was black. It was the first black car to actually win the Riddler Award. So you can only imagine um, the company that restored this. Uh, although it is an older restoration, it was one of the best companies out there, and it still is today. Definitely a huge uh, bullet point. Um, talking about uh, awards, this vehicle is a six-time Chevy Vest Gold Spinner Concourse Award winner. It's also a two-time late great Chevy Award of Excellence and Showcase uh, winner. And it also won a Concourse Gold at the Corvette Nationals. It scored anywhere between a 965, 968, 969, 998, and 994 of a possible 1,000 points. Those judging sheets were included as well. So anyway, I just want to make sure I covered a lot of that information. Talking quickly about the restoration. Uh, that show cars did as i do with all of my cars i bought a brand new binder um you can see the stack of receipts these are all in date order i'm talking down to the day into the year of the entire restoration everything is included in here every slip for every piece of body work that was done or, or labor rate or part or whatever the case might be it's all fully documented within this binder here there's even uh receipts of the engine rebuild they even took the engines off the number back in the 1990s when they did it, which is all inside this binder. Again, I made this binder here, which is another brand new binder, all in date order. There's some pictures here of Bob in the car on the racetrack. Uh, some information about Vern. This is Vern's report that's included with the car. Uh, Vern actually gave me a list of a few things that would need to be corrected if somebody wanted to have this judge at the highest level. I was appreciative he did that. There's an invoice here showing all the work that MS Classic Cars did. We invested over $10,000 in this vehicle. Once again, we're the only classic car dealership in the country who services every vehicle we sell and we document the work with an invoice. Very important uh, that you know that. This is the dyno sheets that show the 432 horsepower, as I mentioned before. This is the letter from Bob uh, that tells about the uh, story of this car. This is the original title. Again, this is a copy. I have the original. And then a bunch of information uh, about the car, its build dates and things like that. Um, so starting with the exterior of the vehicle, um, the exterior is in absolutely beautiful condition. It retains um, all of its original sheet metal. Only patchwork was done throughout the car during the restoration. The exterior uh, body is super straight. All the gaps are excellent. 
Um, it retains the original black, uh, tuxedo black, is what they refer to it as uh, with this car paint. Um, the paint is in beautiful condition. When I, when I say it retains it, I'm talking about the color, not the actual paint. It obviously has a brand new paint job. The paint job is in absolutely beautiful condition. It only has maybe just a couple of flaws, um, but it presents uh, very, very beautifully like it was restored uh, last year. Um, during the restoration, they wanted to use a lot of the original parts that came off of this car. So it does have a lot of original parts. Uh, like the bumpers would be an example. It has all the original glass. The glass does have a little bit of chipping and it's got a few scratches, but Bob wanted to keep it as authentic as possible. All the stainless trim was restored and it looks absolutely beautiful. All the emblems, it's got the correct hubcaps. We put on brand new white wall tires. Um, the tires actually complement this white top, which is one of my favorite parts of this vehicle to have an all black car with a white top with the white walls and the white in the body molding is simply uh, stunning to say the least. Um, getting into the interior of the vehicle, uh, this interior is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Bob told me that a lot of this interior is original. I don't know exactly what is and what isn't. I do know that the top has been replaced. I know that the top of the dash was definitely refinished. I know the gauges were sent out uh, to be restored. I know a lot of the dash hardware is original. Um, I know the steering wheel is original. Kind of a funny story about the steering wheel, but I know the steering wheel is original to the car. Um, I think Bob had told me that the door panels were original, but I found some receipts to indicate that maybe some work were done to the door panels. I know the back seat's original. Um, I think that the rear, the front seat has been reupholstered, um, and I know the car has uh, had new carpeting. But once again, this interior is in absolutely beautiful condition. It presents itself. Uh, it's, it's just super nice. It's like new. Um, even this seat here is super, super comfortable that I'm sitting in. Uh, the trunk compartment was also restored to a really high level. It's got all the correct uh, trunk splatter paint, trunk mat. It's got a matching spare tire, all the jack tools, things like that. And getting into the engine compartment, uh, the engine is definitely the highlight of the vehicle. It's one of the most detailed engine bays I've ever seen, uh, especially for a car like this. You'll find that a lot of these 409 Impalas, besides the fact that most of them are fake, uh, you'll find that most of them don't have highly detailed engine bays, and it's really hard to find a car with the original uh, four and a quarter horse motor like this car has. So again, the entire engine bay has been finished to the highest level of quality. Uh, the firewall, the inner fenders, the radio support, it's all black. We again took the engine out of the car. We refreshen the entire engine. It runs absolutely beautiful. It retains the original carburetors. Uh, those dual carburetors have the original tags on them, which are great. We did send those out and we had those restored professionally just because they had been sitting. Uh, getting in into that for one second, um, Bob had showed this car up until the mid to late 2000s. And after he had showed it, you know, it was trailered back and forth and only had 29 miles showing on the odometer because he turned it back uh, to zero after the restoration was completed. The car only had about 40,000 miles on it before the restoration started, um, but he wanted to kind of track the miles after the restoration. Um, so because the car had sat inside one of those air bubbles, which we pictured within our description, um, things needed to be sorted out a little bit. Obviously when we got the car because it had been sitting it, even although it was sitting in that uh, in controlled environment, it still needed to be sorted out a little bit mechanically. Um, you know, just from sitting, things tend to get, you know, leaky or whatever the case might be. So we took care of the carburetors. We refreshed in the engine. Again, we dynoed it. This car runs absolutely beautiful. Even when you start this car, the cold light comes on, that green light, and then after about two minutes, it goes out, and you could literally get in this car and start driving it within a couple of minutes after starting it. Um, so you got to check out this engine compartment. It is highly, highly detailed. Once again, it has the original matching numbers block that has been verified uh, by Vern. Um, it also has the correct heads, uh, intake, carburetor, and so forth. The uh, car is actually coupled, the engine is coupled to a four-speed uh, transmission. This is a date-coded transmission, but it is not the original transmission. Um, the original transmission was not replaced by Bob, so it had to have been replaced during the first uh, year or two 
uh, of ownership the first 18 months uh, before Bob had purchased it. Um, so that is definitely not the original trans, but it's a date-coded trans. Um, the rear end is original to the car. Again, it has 411s, posi traction. It's an awesome rear end, the perfect combination for this drivetrain. Again, it makes it a super rare car, not only to have the four and a quarter, but to have the four speed and the 411 gears. Um, underneath this car is definitely mirror quality. You'll notice the entire underneath has been finished in the red oxide. Um, it is highly, highly detailed. It's beautiful. Um, everything underneath has been touched. It's got a great uh, exhaust system. It's got all new suspension. I mean, everything on the undercarriage of this car has basically been done. So please um, check out all the awards that it's won. We broke down pictures of everything within our listing. Um, in the description, I even broke them down to the years that they were won. All these binders, uh, all the paperwork, uh, Vern's report, please check everything out. Um, so for a complete uh, overview, uh, you have to visit msclassiccars.com. I'm going to go ahead and start the car and let you listen to how beautiful it runs. Now keep in mind, when I started this car, even though I warmed it up prior to just for a few minutes, you see how absolutely beautiful this car runs. It has 432 horsepower. That's proven horsepower on the dyno. I can go ahead and shut this car off. You don't notice how it doesn't sit there and have any detonation problems and run after I shut it off. I go to turn the key again. It starts right up like it's a small block. Again, I take my hat off to our mechanics and 